Zoe Murphy, uh, aka Pat Murray, and this is my interview. I started making music about, I'd say, 2015, 2016, and I started, I recorded on GarageBand on my school iPad, <laughs> but this is when I like played the beat on my phone and then recorded it on my iPad, so like, and then I did not have to online transfer it, to, and the quality was garbage. Um, I just dropped an album. What gives me chills would be having my family together at one time and like um, just talking, like normal conversation, everyday conversations. Uh, what else? Tattoos. I got two of them. I got a double X for MGK, actually, he's my favorite rapper. Um, and then I got like my music tattoos. Um, it came from. Uh, I was hanging with my brother and I, I was really big and he was like, bro, you know what you should call yourself? Pat Murray. Because it kind of sounds like Zill Patrick Murphy. I was like, bro, I bet. So like, I, I, I thought about it and I was like, that, actually, that was hilarious. I, th I thought about like Mac Miller and like Larry Fisherman, like how he had like an alter ego. Um, and my, my kind of thing is like Pat Murray. Also, I had an old YouTube account, uh, Zell Murphy, that has a lot more subscribers than what I do now, but um, it's called Zell Murphy, and that's obviously my name. And I wanted to, I wish I wish I still had that account, man. I, I got a lot of good feedback. I have a lot of old songs I revisit, but a revamp. Um, but it is what it is. That channel is kind of garbage. It's not garbage. It's just it's my music is so much better now. So I'm proud of where where the music's coming from. And uh, yeah. Uh, what artists inspire me? I'd probably go with. Uh, MGK, first and foremost, the greatest rapper alive, the GOAT. That's hands down the case. Like, from from how he spits to the lyrical content, how he uses his music to reach other people. Um, even even at Rolling Loud, when he fucking... He stood up on on top. I wish I could have went that to that. That shit was crazy. He fucking... He climbed up the tower and rapped on mushrooms. <laughs> Like that's a real rock star right there. So M MGK, I, I, and he still gave a good performance too. Like, I, like just because, like I say, mushrooms, whatever. Like he, he still killed it. Like I, I really give him props for that. I, MGK is an artist, man. And um, uh, 50 Cent, um, Tupac, Biggie, I, those are so cliche, as people say. But like that, obviously that's a go-to, you know. Who who doesn't turn to Tupac or Big One in the rap game? Um, Skits Craven's new album, Hollow Spire is far. He is the king of horrorcore. That's for and and I'm a Wisconsin rapper, so shout out Skits for real, for real. Let's call out. Um, what else I got? Who else? I fuck with uh, Uzi. Actually, my brother Jaden got me into him a little bit lately. Uh, uh, T Grizzly. I fuck with uh, uh, TJ, little TJ. Uh, Smoke Perp, only like two songs, but like right now I've been bumping Stevie. Like that, that beat goes off. That beat goes off. Michael Jackson, Stevie Wonder, Prince. Michael Jackson, The Doors, The Temptations, The Eagles, Chicago, um, 
Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, I listen to a lot of shit. I listen to a lot of shit. My chopper gon' blow, my wrist on froze I'm wiping your nose and stealing your hoe Money keep coming and I want some more To collab with anybody in the future Yeah, basically any um, artist that's willing to collab with me And uh, not in it just for the money I will pay for that I mean, if, if I want, if say I, I give uh, my friend an opportunity to give girl vocals Or um, I'd pay them for that because um, I want that on my music, but if I'm trying to collab with somebody, I'm not really looking for the money. I mean, if you got more clout than me, sure. But if you're gonna put it on your platforms, and I expect to to pay for that. But like when you when you're out to get like, I I will only do a feature, no collabs. Like I I uh, th this one uh, local rapper, he ain't even big yet. And he was just being a dickhead about it. About like, I asked him. The first message was want to collab. And then like he went into a big depth of like he thought I was talking about a feature and like he he was like yeah for a verse I, I you need I need to, you need to pay a hundred dollars I was like dude go fuck yourself like what are you talking about and um because I originally wanted to collab like I, I never asked him about money or and he immediately went straight to that I was like dude you're not even asking about what I do like. Whatever, like you're not even trying to see what I even make before I even give you a hundred dollars. Like I'm not gonna offer my money up if you're not even gonna show me like the respect I deserve as a human being type shit. You know, um, that shit pisses me off. I, I hate I hate artists that do that. Do I have any collaboration on this album? No. This first album's all me. The Life and Struggle of Pat Murray. It's all free, 21 tracks, uh, SoundCloud on YouTube, Pat Murray on YouTube, and Zell Patrick Raps um, on SoundCloud and Instagram. I really fuck with Instagram, and I'm trying to get that shit going, so. Everything about you is perfect. I'll wait cause I know it would be perfect. Would you wait for me? Favorite three songs to perform would be Chills. Um, number one is daily. Daily first. Chills. Love this moment. And probably uh, I really fuck with my MGK cover. Actually, I really love singing that. Uh, Waste love. Uh, he killed that shit. I I didn't do it justice. Uh, I, oh, I, or excuse me, sorry. I, I wish, I hope I did justice on that. I, I think I did, but I, I'll never do it like he did justice on that shit. You know what I mean? Like, that's his song. Like, he fucking, dude, listen to Waste Love MGK, dude. I guarantee, like, it almost will make you cry. Even, like, Glass House, dude, that shit, that shit hits home, for real. That shit hits home. So, MGK, shout out again for that, for real. Yes, I wanna listen to every single word you have to say, babe. I think I like you. What's been the best advice I've ever got? Uh, loop, swoop, and pull. How to tie your shoes. It started in seventh grade when I moved here. Was too shy to even say hi. I mean, like, I don't know where I'd be without these. You know what I'm saying? Like, for sure, greatest advice I've ever got. This for such a very long time. I guess that comes with confidence. You ain't incompetent. Uh, uh, album EP or an album coming out soon. Uh, it's gonna be on all music platforms. Um, music coming ASAP. Uh, all platforms. Remember that. All platforms. And Cause you worth it. Damn, I hope these feelings are worth it. Then, cause baby, you are perfect. Favorite songs off the new album. I kind of gave those the right way already. Daily, rolling. Chills, love this moment. I mean, like, I really fuck with Dear Dad, but th I'm kind of like in the middle of like figuring that song out. Um, specifically, like, with the father figures I was talking about in that song. Um, kind of like, you know, in a weird place with that. That one, that one is like, um, it was real feelings when I wrote it and recorded it. I was really angry, and um, but I really, I really hope that uh, I can have a relationship with those people now. So, 
we'll see what happens with that. <laughs> we'll see in the future what happens. Alright. Oh, okay. Who was the kid on daily? Uh, my niece. My cute and most adorable niece ever. If you see her, you can tell, you know, you'd be like, whoa, she's adorable. Everyone says that. <laughs> Um, yeah, she's, she's cool. That was crazy. In Nikki 2, that's a Logic tribute, actually. Um, shout Logic one time. Also, he's a really good uh, influence in my game and my craft and shit. Uh, just with like delivery. I mean, obviously, he's like a really, really good artist. But um, Nikki 2. Uh, he has a song called Nikki. Uh, I, I, I said Logic Tribute at the end of that song just for copyright purposes, and I, I really, um, plus I kind of like have my own twist to it. I really, I really hope you guys like that one. Um, it's, in my heart, it, that's a really, really, really good song. I, my, I struggled so long with, uh, addiction to cigarettes. Um, actually in high school, I would have got, uh, expelled if I had one more t tobacco. Uh, incident or anything like that or fighting or if I had one more incident really period I would have got expelled but <laughs> yeah I, mean, I got lucky I guess um, yeah they don't really tolerate this shit. anyway uh, where did I go to high school Plasky hi I'm from Manitowoc Wisconsin I really love this rap game I love what I do and keep looking towards the music. Uh, oh, also another MGK reference uh, in Nikki Two. I did I did have a uh, reference. Go go check that out and see if you can actually comment on that song what it is. Let's see if you guys can pick up on that. Actually, that would be dope if you guys can. But um, yeah, thank you for you know tuning in to my life, let alone the music. And I really hope you guys keep. Fucking with it and keep sharing because I really, really, really love this shit. I I write it down music and um, one day I do want to make other other music rather than just rap. I want I do uh, I said a, a couple Metallica's fucking fire, uh, Blink 182, punk rock to fucking. 1960s Motown shit like that like that's that's what I live for I live for music and I'm I'm serious about this shit so keep tuning in there'll be more from this guy so thank you I appreciate you and this is my interview <laughs> Thinking about turning yourself to Kennedy, RIP motherfucker. Chemically fed up, how many raids in Green Bay?